In a previous video, I demonstrated how to convert this Canon power shot to a near infrared camera using this infogram plant analysis filter kit. And we ended up using this Roscoe 2007 filter. And in that video, this was one of the shots I took. You'll notice kind of the magenta looking vegetation, the sky, and the pool are blue. And I thought, well, it's pretty cool looking. That's the way it should be. Well, I came to find out after reading some of the public lab documentation and posting in the forums, and one of the public lab guys, Chris Fasty, helped me out, kind of clued me in on white balance to improve the NDVI results. So I want to demonstrate how to do that. The first thing I will do is turn on the camera, see the lens come out. And originally I was just using the default white balance settings. I'm gonna go in there, hit the function button, and then if I scroll up, you can see we have a white balance. So I'm going to go ahead and just press right and then go down. By default, it's on daylight. And you can see the image actually change. I'm going to go down to custom. And you'll notice this blue paper. And that comes with the infogram kit. So we're going to use the custom white balance feature to take a photo of this blue paper and do a test. Now I'm actually outside in the shade, so we're gonna do a test in the shade and then we're gonna do a test uh, taking a photo with the white balance set against this background in the sunlight. Okay, now in custom white balance mode, now that I'm filling the frame with this blue paper, I'll hit menu. And now our white balance is set. To do the test, I'm gonna take a photo of this awesome tree our neighbor has and you can just see how vibrant everything looks now that we've set that white balance so i'm going to go ahead and take a photo now we're going to do the same with the white balance of the blue paper in sunlight custom white balance and then i'm going to hit menu and now our white balance is set in sunlight okay now i'm going to do the same photo more or less the same photo with the new white balance settings. Okay, now let's go take a look at these. Let's take a look at our photos where we did the custom white balance settings. Now I'm gonna show you a tool called Infogram Sandbox. This was introduced to me by the public lab group. I'm going to take our first photo and I'm just gonna drag it from my SD card over to the choose file button. And I'll take our other photo where we did the white balance in sunlight and I'll drag it here. So if you look at the two, there's kind of a deep blue. The vegetation is nice and vibrant. And here's kind of a brighter blue. There's, it's, it appears there's less of a contrast. Now this was taken with the white balance against the blue paper in the shade. And this is the same that we did in the sunlight. Now let's take a look at the NDVI settings for each of these photos. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this. And what's cool is these values change in real time. So that's the grayscale view. Let's go ahead and look at the color. You can see there's some nice greens, yellows and reds mixed in there. So from what I can tell, it looks fairly accurate. And let's do the same with the photo that we white balanced in the sunlight. So you can see there's some greens, yellows, a little tiny bit of red, but this looks a lot more vibrant. And it's actually recommended by the public labs guys that when you do your white balance calibration to do it with, at least at the time of this video, to do it against blue paper in the shade. So just wanted to share what I've learned. I'm by no means an expert on this. I'm learning a lot from the public lab group. As I continue to discover and find things out, I'll continue to share them. I do feel that doing a custom white balance has led to better results. And the other thing I want to share is if you're not familiar with NDVI, there's a great link in Google. It's this PDF and I'll post a link to it. It's a two-page description, pretty easy reading, but it'll definitely give you some background. So that's it for now. I hope this information was useful. Until next time, thanks for watching.